What is up, y'all, and welcome to another edition of NBA Top Prize Picks Plays presented by Prize Picks. As always, I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crash Bets. We had three picks last night, guys. We went two and one. LaMelo Ball over 13 and a half and over 14 and a half rebounds plus assists hit. We also hit PJ Washington over one and a half three pointers made. That hit in the first half. So, really liked that pick before. I was really happy with that hitting. Our Dante DiVincenzo over one and a half blocks plus steals did not hit. He played horribly. That was a bad pick on my part. That was just trying to get way too cute in hindsight. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at his stats. He just has those random games where he'll play really well. But for the most part, he really just has not been good. He's just not someone I'm going to want to bet on in the future, uh, if I'm being honest. So two and one last night, guys. As you guys are rolling in, uh, make sure you're liking, subscribing, clicking the notification bell on the Odd Shopper YouTube page for me. That interaction just helps us. It allows us to be able to provide you guys with more free content. Also, if you guys haven't already signed up for prize picks or you have a friend or family member that hasn't, check out that link down below in the description, guys. Not only will you get a free first match deposit up to $100 from prize picks, but you're also getting a month of free stochastic material. So definitely take advantage of that, guys. It's the best value you're going to get right now. Let's go ahead and talk about the picks for tonight, guys. Shorter slate, so I just have two plays. First play I want to talk about, Jamal Murray, over one and a half three-pointers made. Going back to a three-point prop after hitting P.J. Washington last night, guys. I like Murray at over one and a half. Over the last month, Murray's averaged 19 points, seven assists, four rebounds per game. He's attempted six three-pointers per game over that span, making two per game, so... He's played very well over the last month, guys. Obviously, Jamal Murray's still kind of trying to get back into the swing of things, but he's played well over the last month. Attempting six three-pointers per game is something I always like to see for a guy that's capable of shooting from three like Jamal Murray is. Over his last five outings in particular, you guys, Jamal Murray's been even more active from beyond the arc. He shot 7.8 three-point attempts per game. He's made 38% of those, so he's recorded three or more made three-pointers in three of his last five. We're only looking for two. As you guys can see from the chart, he's made three and three of those last five. Obviously, a few tougher games last time out, guys, but he's not going to hit two three-pointers every single game. So it's not like I just need this chart to be all green for me to like this prop. The Nuggets are facing the Clippers tonight, guys. The Clippers are actually allowing 119 points per game over their last three games. Paul George currently listed as questionable, so that would help Denver in terms of scoring and also shooting. The Clippers have also allowed the 12th most three-point attempts per game this year, guys. They allow 34 three-point attempts per game. Over their last three games, they've allowed 38 three-point attempts per game. That's the sixth most in the NBA over the last three games. Final note for this one, guys, is a reference to the Odd Shopper tools. If you guys check out the Odd Shopper tools, you'll see that this play is listed at minus 135 on DraftKings, minus 140 over on BetMGM. My second and final play for this shortened slate tonight, guys, is going to be Kevin Porter Jr. over 30 and a half PRA facing the Jazz. My notes for this one, the Rockets, obviously, guys, they're not a top team in the league, but they're fun to watch. And they have some players that you really can bet on. Kevin Porter Jr. has had a great year. He's averaging 30.6 PRA per game. He's attempting 15 shots per game. That includes six attempts from beyond the arc per game. Over his last five, Kevin Porter Jr. has averaged 32.2 PRA. His usage rate of 26% ranks second on the team over the last month. That trails only Jalen Green, and Jalen Green is only leading by a very small margin. We all know how Jalen Green can play. He gets a lot of shots up, but Kevin Porter Jr. is the guy we're going to look at for rebounds and assists when it comes to guards on this Rockets team. Tonight, the Rockets match up against Utah. Like I mentioned, you guys, that's always an enticing matchup. The Jazz this year, guys, they have allowed the eighth most points per game. Their defensive efficiency ranks fifth worst in the NBA, and their opponents are shooting 48.5% from the field against them. That is the sixth highest shooting percentage in the league. This game has the second highest implied point total of the night of all the four games. This has the second highest implied point total sitting at 230 and a half right now, guys. Final note in Odd Chopper Tools reference, Kevin Porter Jr. over 31 and a half is listed at minus 125 over on points bet. We're getting it at over 30 and a half, getting a bit of a discount here on prize picks. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. As I mentioned, shorter video for the shortened slate. Before you guys get out of here, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, click that notification bell on the Odd Chopper YouTube page. Also, that prize picks link, guys, if you or a friend or a family member wants to get involved, wants to get signed up with prize picks, guys, use that link. You're getting free stochastic materials and you're getting free bankroll from prize picks with that first match deposit. 
I'll be back tomorrow with another video, you guys. Enjoy the four-game slate tonight. Games are nationally televised on TNT tonight, so have a good time watching those. We'll be back tomorrow talking about what we like for the slate tomorrow night and hoping that we had a good night tonight, guys. All right, y'all. Later.